Haiti's capital, Port-au-Prince, a city devastated by a magnitude 7 earthquake. Houses destroyed, services brought to a standstill. Except the traffic. Port-au-Prince's streets are noisy and congested. But thanks to solar-powered traffic lights, vehicles and people flow far more efficiently than might be expected in this otherwise chaotic city. In 2004, Haiti's government, together with Canada-based technology company Axiom, installed solar-powered traffic lights at 45 intersections in Port-au-Prince. CEO for Axiom's Haiti affiliate, Emmanuel Vaval, says the value of the solar lights became evident during the devastating January earthquake. While the city's power was knocked out for days, the traffic lights stayed on. After January 12th, we were the only source of energy that was visible after the earthquake. It was very important to see that, thanks to these solar traffic lights, people could be directed. It was only the solar panels that could store sufficient energy after January 12th to allow traffic to circulate in the streets. Denny Babi is a local businessman who has to negotiate the city's traffic free fall on a daily basis. Well, I believe traffic lights are important. They prevent accidents, and beyond that, they give each vehicle time to cross intersections. And for the pedestrians, too, they can wait for the cars to pass, and then the cars stop so that the pedestrians can cross. The lights have the capacity to store enough energy to keep them working for three or four days without sun, at a total installation cost of 31,300 U.S. dollars per intersection. Vavan is also working to develop solar-powered walk signs to manage pedestrian traffic in Haiti cities. And he also hopes to expand the solar idea to other Caribbean countries, where sunshine, the raw material, is in abundant supply. Tara Cleary, Reuters.